Since we're using watercolor, the paper has a tendency to wrinkle and bow unless you tape it down. We're going to be using this special artist tape with a low viscosity, meaning that the adhesive is not too strong, that will come off easy, but also give us a nice clean border. To tape the paper down to the board, I'm going to first attach lightly one piece of tape to each side of the paper. With the help of a friend, press down on the paper, squeegeeing all the air out one side at a time. Hold the paper still and squish out while your friend helps to adhere the tape to the board. Once you've got it on, I would take my finger and just burnish the edge of the tape all the way around for a nice clean seal. Now that your paper is adhered to the board, go ahead and start your watercoloring. Remember that watercolor is a very translucent medium and that you want your drawing underneath to be very light so that way it doesn't dominate your picture. If you need to, you can go back and go over the techniques that we learned about previously, including layering, glazing, using salt to create texture, or different kinds of resists that can be made to leave areas white. It's also important to remember that watercolor is a balance between working quickly in order to create soft, seamless blends and shadows or highlights and working patiently letting things dry fully in order to not let them bleed and have them. once you're completely finished painting let the paper dry completely and then carefully peel off the tape by slowly peeling it back from the picture at a 45 degree angle done painting, you can go back and add extras to highlight particular portions of your piece. There is a link in my YouTube channel that shows you some of the options that you could use for this stage of the painting. Once you've decided on something that will best suit your image, it's time to add that in. For me, I'm going to be using the embossing powder and embossing pen. I'm using a clear pen from Ranger to lay down the lines for my spider web. I lay down my lines I can go in with an embossing powder like this one this is a silver powder this powder is a very fine powder once I'm finished I can tap off the extra just like you would with glitter and pour the rest back into the container that it came in taking a heat gun and carefully moving it around the page I'm going to heat up that powder and it melts to give me a nice metallic line 